no introduction um, for those of you here in the room. Um, he is the current president of the Assyrian Federation of Sweden, an organization that boasts upwards of 10,000 members. Under Afram's leadership, the organization has been reformed and has grown to become one of the most powerful Assyrian organizations in the world. Please join me in welcome. <laughs> a lot of pressure on my shoulders. <laughs> I have to deliver it. Uh, this is a very interesting topic. Uh, me and Mike especially have been discussing for long discussions on, via Viber and Skype about these principles and these issues. And actually, as far back as I can remember, uh, all the Assyrians I've known have been waiting for Makhlisona, uh, for Qor, for Roko, Savior. I think my mother waited or is waiting for Jesus to save us. My father was waiting for George Bush to save us or Putin. And uh, other Assyrians I know have perhaps believed that Obama will save us. And still other Assyrians I know believe that the United Nations will save us. And other dear friends might think that the European Union will save us, and the list goes on. It's a kind of psychological sickness to live your, your entire life thinking that someone else will save you. I don't know if it, if, if it can be explained by psychologists that it has something to do with the genocide trauma that you inherently believe that you are weak and you cannot do you cannot change your situation on your own perhaps it comes it has a source from from genocide i don't know but it comes from somewhere and uh, this belief that we cannot change our own situation or on our own we must have a savior is hurting us i think more than daesh it has hurted us more than the Turkish genocide, more than Kurdi the actions of the Kurdish groups, more than anything else. I think this is what is killing us as a nation. It is making today thousands, hundreds of thousands of Assyrians totally passive. They are totally passive because they are convinced that we cannot do anything for our situation on our own as long as a superpower doesn't come and help us. For I work day on a daily basis with Assyrian issues. I meet a lot of Assyrians from Sweden and abroad. And I can say for each Assyrian I meet who is ready to be active, to do something, I meet at least 10, 20, 50 Assyrians that are, that are passive and more or less laugh me in the face you know you're you're just a dreamer an idiot you believe you can do something that we can do something you know, on our own i think most of us here can relate to that so i will not uh, speak for this on this for too long because i think we all want to debate we want questions from from the public but the, to change their minds to begin with the minds of active Assyrians, so, we, so that we are all on the same page, that we can, we can and must and should do something on our own. And that, as Michael said, for hundreds of years, uh, the only thing actually what we have done is beg. We are begging for help. And each time, it, it, the proof is that each time it doesn't help, no, no one come, comes to save us. And still we continue to beg. So we have to do this paradigm shift in our own minds that perhaps a little bit of begging or lobby is, is good, it's, it's nothing bad, but the majority of the focus, the majority of the activism, the resources must be invested in ourselves, for ourselves. Menaina Elena, Ghana Kagana. So in Europe, I am pretty sure that we have around half a million Assyrians. I think in Sweden we have at least 150,000, in Germany at least 150,000, already up to 300,000 in two. 
two countries. We have France, we have Switzerland, we have Austria, we have Denmark, uh, a lot of other European countries. So if you count all of these together, we surely have a half a million Assyrians. And a very small percentage of those Assyrians today are active, believe that they can do something. Most of them, maybe up to 90%, are totally passive. They just want to live their lives, they don't care, they don't believe that they can play a difference. In my vision, in my vision, the Assyrian Confederation of Europe spearheads the transformation of the minds of these Assyrians, the majority of these half million Assyrians. So they become full of self-belief, active on a local level, national level, and on the European level, to have one of the strongest uh, diasporas from the Middle East in Europe. We're certainly one of the biggest ones in Europe, but we're not the strongest, uh, one of the strongest right now. And from that strength, I hope it will reach all over to Assyria with full of energy to give our people in, in Assyria as well to, to continue the struggle. So it's all up in the mind, in the head. If you believe you can do something, then you will do it. Toadie.